If you're in the market for some major appliances, this weekend is the time to buy. North Carolina is doing away with its sales tax on several Energy Star appliances all weekend long. The tax holiday is a surefire way to save about 7%. That is 70 bucks on a $1,000 fridge. But how can you really save with more energy efficient appliances? It's your money, and News Channel 36 reporter Beth Shane is helping you pinch your pennies. For once, it's true. Labels matter. What you're looking for on an Energy Star is this label right here. That star means energy savings. A few bucks a month on just about anything you buy. Be a refrigerator, whether it be a washing machine, whether it be a freezer, you're going to save 8 to 10% with an Energy Star appliance over a conventional. So how much of your money are you going to have to pony up to get that Energy Star efficiency? We're doing the math on the fridges. This one here, about 550 bucks to get the Energy Star, you'll pony up an extra $50. Your energy savings, about $11 a year. At that rate, it'll take you about four and a half years to pay off the extra cost. On a washer, the cost difference is much, much bigger. You'll almost double your upfront payout, but you'll save not just electricity, but water too. The top loaders use about 42 gallons of water to wash a load of clothes. The front loaders use 18 to do the same load. What's more, you can't buy an Energy Star dryer, but no matter, your washer spins so fast, it practically dries. So now you dry clothes as fast as you wash them. Bottom line, if you need an appliance and you have some upfront dough, Energy Star is the way to go. If not, well, hold on to your money. That's Shane, News Channel 36. Now, something else important that we learned today, a lot of brands don't put that little Energy Star star right on their, their appliance. Check the yellow tag or ask before you assume something isn't rated energy efficient. And 